Bitte schon, bitte schon. Guten Abend, Damen und Herren, Frau und Mädchen. Alles ist gut oder nein? Ja, alles ist gut, ja. Everything is good. Hello, I am a professor. Quincy Quantum. <coughs> yeah. PhD, DDS and uh, Esquire. Uh, graduated from the University of Dusseldorf. Yeah, <coughs> I changed my name upon entering the uh, United States. My original Deutsche Name is Gunther Wolf Schlegenstein Horsenbergendorf. Very small name. Yeah, like to talk about quantum, quantum mechanics. Yes, <coughs> to phase into my English voice. Yeah, makes it easier to talk and communicate with. Uh, <clears throat> you Native Americans, yeah? <clears throat> there we go. I can get away with this because I'm half German, by the way. <laughs> Talk about quantum <clears throat> and how logical quantum is. Yeah, as a professor of quantum, you know, I'm much more intelligent than you because I have a university degree. Yeah, PhD. That's right. <clears throat> Talk about quantum tunneling and the nature of quantum because everything and Mother Nature is simple particle physics, yeah? And the things that are too hard for you, simple, unintelligent uh, earthlings to understand, yeah? Is quantum. We have to use this word because it is beyond your understanding. We can talk about conventional things of physics, you know, how heavy something is, its mass, its weight, yeah? Force equals mass times acceleration, simple stuff. But when it comes to talking about the nature of cosmic mechanics, it is a completely different science. It is the science of GR, which of course has evolved into, jawohl, into quantum. Yeah, <clears throat> I have to talk about quantum tunneling effect because all phenomena in nature, like this uh, fire I have on the screen, this is a, a physical uh, explanation of wood burning, you know, it has been set aflame, but in reality, in GR and uh, as a PhD in quantum, this specifically is a quantum field effect. Yes, quantum waves are happening here and uh, also to the exchange of virtual photons. Like between two magnets, yes, people think that there's a field, well there is a field, but what is really going on is the exchange of virtual photons. When two magnets get near each other, yeah, according to general relativity and quantum, and this is accurate, mind you, because of a PhD in general relativity and quantum mechanics. When two magnets get near each other, each magnet senses the field of the other one, and the field is made up of virtual photons, yeah? They send out virtual photons to each other, thereby communicating whether they are a like polarity or an unlike polarity. Now, if they are like polarity, then the virtual photons push against each other. And this is what is conventionally called, to you lesser human beings, magnetic repulsion. Uh-huh. But if uh, the virtual photons that are reaching out to one another, because that's what a magnetic field is. Now, we use the word field for simple earthlings you know, to communicate simplex things for a matter of conversation. But what is really going on in the case of magnetic attraction is the virtual photons are agreeing that they're moving in different directions and then they therefore accelerate. This is magnetic attraction, yes? What is also too going on, and it's really hard to explain to common people because you have to have a PhD to understand this because nature is not simple. I've seen many videos, yeah? On YouTube, that uh, tried to say that Mother Nature is a really simple chick, but she's not. She's actually extremely complicated. She has a lot of tricks up her sleeve. Up her sleeve. What is going on is quantum foam and quantum entanglement paradox. You have a quantum paradox of instantaneous action at a distance, which Einstein himself called spooky action at the distance. Jawohl. Yeah, and what is going on in this quantum paradox of quantum entanglement is the exchange of virtual photons at the level of this quantum tunneling effect. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but without a PhD from university, you haven't got a chance of understanding this. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's a little bit beyond your capability of understanding, as it is the case for most people. Yeah, so, so 
The simple truth is, in the case of a field, or like magnetic fields, or uh, magnets accelerating, or pushing against each other, is the exchange of virtual photons. This tw quantum tunneling effect is uh, so simple, but it requires you to understand quantum, which of course requires PhD and many, many, many years of study at university, like me, at the University of Dusseldorf, yeah, because you can't understand it without that, yeah. It is very simple, but it's only simple after many, many years of university and also to at least four years of postgraduate work. Yeah, yeah. So, Mother Nature really is simple, you know, at the subatomic level, beneath that of the proton and the neutron, you know, we have, of course, quarks. And this is highly logical because in academia, in uh, my field of GR and quantum, general relativity and quantum, you know, it is so simple. You know, there's only six different types of subatomic particles or quarks. There's up quark, a down quark, a charm quark, a strange quark, a top quark, and a bottom quark. Now, depending on your proclivities, you could identify with a top quark. <laughs> <gasps> or the bottom quark, but these are the six, six different types of quark. Yeah, let me hold on a second while I think back to my postgraduate work and exercise my neurons. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Mm. Ah, getting back, yeah. So, if you enter the university and you start researching quantum, you will understand what the quantum paradox is. You will understand quantum entanglement and quantum form. Now, there used to be back in the days of the unintelligent people like Plato and Tesla and James Clerk Maxwell. They had the ESA. ESA must be dismissed because the entire universe, Mother Nature's universe, is particles that collide. Yeah, Some of them we've never seen. They have never been the inputs or outputs of any experiments that we've ever done. But we know they exist because we are the masters of quantum entanglements and quantum paradoxes. Yeah? I need some more stuffings for my pipe. Yeah? Because this is what is going on in the case of a field. It is the exchange of virtual photons. Yeah? This is what is going on. It is so simple. I mean, you must have a higher education to understand quantum waves and the virtual photons that are going on at the paradox level of time traveling quarks and virtual photons. Yeah? If you don't understand it, it's a quantum paradox. But this is also too very logical. Yeah? It is not complicated, you know, but you can understand it, but you must go to university. Yes, be a part of academia and do some postgraduate work, and then it becomes really, really simple. But I can't explain it all to you because you don't have a degree. And this is a problem. Mother Nature is really, really simple, but it does require several years of postgraduate work. And you go, ah, ach du lieber. It is so simple. After much money, PhD, postgraduate work, Two doctoral papers, I understand Mother Nature very simply. You don't have a chance of grasping it because you have not gone to university and studied these principles of the quantum tunneling effect and the quantum paradox of quantum waves and quantum form. Yeah. <sighs> Trying to make this more simple for you. Yeah. How can I make it more simple? In the case of curved space-time, yeah, fields are interacting and they're communicating with each other. Like say there's only two bodies in the universe, yes? And they are getting closer to one another, yeah? What they are doing is they are sending out communication via virtual photons. And when these particles meet each other in deepest space, they communicate that space must be bent. Yes. Time and space are bent when virtual photons between two bodies reach out to each other. And they say, I'm getting closer to you. Bend your space around me. Take me into you. Yes, and so space is bent. And then we have quantum effect.
This tunneling effect is very, very simple. Yeah? With the greats of Richard Feynman, Leonard and Susskind, some other greats. Niels deGrasse Tyson, Michio Kaku, there's a long list of people. Stephen Hawking's, his atoms have since been scattered in the universe. They will sometime in the far distant future reassemble themselves into Stephen Hawking's version 2.0. Yeah. He will live again because all particles eventually come back together. There will be a clearer understanding as humanity evolves its evolution of intellectual expansion to understand the virtual photon paradox of this tunneling effect of quantum waves and the quantum field effect. Quantum is the correct understanding of the universe. Yeah, Mother Nature, she is a very complicated girl. She went to countless billions of years of university. She has a calculator in each pocket. Yeah, she has a slide rule on her back and she only understands numbers and mass because this is what a field is. Field is a set of numerical values surrounding a magnet, a body, a mass, acceleration, force vectors, and quantum paradoxes. This is what a field is. It is a series of numbers. numbers the surround objects and exist between objects. And this matrix of numbers is the roadmap by which virtual photons are exchanged and bodies communicate with one another, including magnets, because that's what's going on. Humanity's always been interested in understanding how magnets work. Well, magnets are really, really simple, but you must understand quantum tunneling effect paradoxes, virtual photons, and the nature of a numerical field. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on just a second. Note to self, make a video tomorrow about how great I am and how intelligent. Yeah? End. There we go. Sorry about that. Little pause. Needed to make a note of something. Yeah. Quantum form is such a beautiful, beautiful concept. Only Mother Nature could come up with this. Hmm? Us mathematicians and PhD professors of mathematics and quantum understand that quantum is the fabric of the universe. Yeah? Warp space-time, the exchange of virtual photons, and the quantum tunneling paradoxes and quantum entanglements that exist in the cosmos. Just the thought of the incredible complexity of the universe and the fact that it requires a PhD from academia and postgraduate work to understand it, it makes me spine tingle oh! with great excitement. I feel so much better knowing that I have this mental acuities that has been trained to me from the University of Dusseldorf to understand that which the mere mortal could never understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brilliant, very, very brilliant. Mm. I hope I understood in explaining to you most simply the nature of what quantum waves and quantum field effects are. Understand that all bodies send out like a shower of glitter virtual photons and that is how bodies communicate. They communicate, I am near you, bend your space-time to accept me. Yeah, that's how bodies communicate. This is also the way magnets communicate. They send out virtual photons, they meet each other, they say, Guten Abend or Guten Tag or Guten Morgen, possibly so, yeah? And they say, bend space-time, I am getting near you. Yeah, this is what happens between magnets and heavenly bodies. This is the gravitational force, and gravity is a force, yeah? It's not an acceleration, yeah? People like to use the word field, but field is a layman's term. Us experts of academia understand that we must talk in the lexicon 
of quantum. Where everything must be explained through simple means of nature, such as quantum paradoxes, quantum entanglement, quantum form, virtual photons, quantum waves, quantum field effects, and quantum tunneling. Mm. All of this requires deep, deep, deep understanding of mass, and also, too, that all field communication is the exchange of and communication of virtual photons. Yeah? It is that simple. It's so simple. I mean, anybody with a PhD and four years of postgraduate work can understand it. Yes? I'd like to explain these things and what quantum actually is, but I don't think you have the intellectual capacity to grasp it. For me to define what quantum is and its relationship with nature requires a PhD. I'm not authorized by academia to give you this. You have to sign up for university. You know, $100,000, $200,000 later, four years, PhD, postgraduate work, then you'll understand. Then it becomes abundantly clear what quantum is. Yaul! Yaul! Yeah, well, indeed. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mother Nature, she is so beautiful in her complexity. I love how complicated she is. She is a tricky girl. Mm. Just thinking about how complicated Mother Nature is. This gives me a tingle. Yeah? Well, I'm going to end it for now. Yes? So... Avirisen, Damen und Herren, Frau und Mädchen, it has been wonderful having a talk with you this evening. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Bitte schon, bitte schon.